everybody. It's indeed a pleasure to be with you. I want to go over uh, a subject that it is extremely important because you're going to see that we have over 12,000 published medical journals on leptin, and yet the leptin physiology has been completely, or not completely, but next to, uh, uh, can we get this so that it is manual rather than automatic, uh, Dr. Holt? Do you know how to do it? Yeah, but but the problem here. Let me. Once you do that, it, I think it goes to uh, manual. I think. Yeah, um, Katie, can you put it back for? So what, what I'm going to do basically is trying to uh, go back to you first slide over here. Open this first slide. Yeah. It is the first. Slide. Yeah. yeah. No, it's okay. And I do it. I do it in my hand. Okay. Yeah. You do by hand. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to go. To no, I'm going to do it. No, I'm doing it. So uh, let me review with you briefly, Dr. Holt, thank you. Uh, review with you briefly the uh, statistics. As you well know, the National Institute of Health is, no, it is still doing it automatically. So is there a way to make it manual? Um, so uh, as you can tell, there's a, approximately 142 million uh, overweight and obese people in America, and um, you don't have a, an automatic uh, stop because it's still doing. Where? Go to slideshow. It's done. It's done. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, go, go back to yeah. All right, so uh, real quickly, I'm sorry? There you go. She, that's what, we, that's we, a demonstration. We, we, we're showing you the exercise that she needs. Uh, actually, she went from a size 12, <laughs> but she's going to... Okay, I, I, I'm at the dog house tonight. I'm not she, doing this anymore. <laughs> she, she, she went from a size 12 to a size 4 and on, this, on, on, on this particular technology that we're going to be discussing. Just take it all the way up. No? This says on mouse click only. Okay, take this out. Automatic after. Okay. All right. No? Okay, that's it. Let me do it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the so. Okay, just do like. They 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 actually, uh, as you probably know, the Surgeon General have stated that if you were overweight at the age of uh, 20, you you actually lose 13 years of your life. But it, it, we know this to be actually true, and in fact, it's worse than that because, as you know, diabetics have approximately 15 years. Um, premature death over uh, other people. So is it still doing yeah, automatically? Um, does anybody know how to, how to run this? Set for five minutes and see if that moves. Set, set for five minutes, she say. Come on, oh, just move minutes? it. Yeah, move it. Move it all the way up, all, all the way up. And you automatically? Yeah, then I'll, do, I'll just automatically do that. That, that. that takes care of the problem. Okay. The obesity, as you can tell from this slide, has risen by over 300% on the first uh, uh, 300% of obesity and the extreme obesity went up fi over 500%. The, this research was done, this research was done, uh, which I think is very important, uh, with the Framingham Heart Study. Uh, they started with, uh, with a 30 year population study of uh, men and women who were within normal parameters. These were all normal weight individuals, and within the 30-year period, 90% of all the men were overweight and obese, and 70% of all the women. So we, what we are seeing here is the typical movement, that a paradigm shift that we are seeing within our society. The statistics that are showing that are really alarming to us is the children 
that you, as you can see from this slide and, and the U.S. news, that 77% of the children are obese, uh, are overweight, and 17% are obese. That is over 300% increase uh, in, in this rate. And with that, the USA Today is showing very alarming jumps on the medication usage. You, you, you are having a... You, you are having children, uh, actually principally girls, where they are increasing their medication by over 147%. The children, for the first time within our generation, we are going to see that they will have a shorter lifespan than their parents. And this is primarily caused by over 400 different people die every year from direct causes of overweight and obesity, and it is kind of going a little bit fast here. Uh, the, the cancer rate, the cardiovascular diseases, the diabetes, they are all, uh, you know, fair. You, 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 you know how to do it? Okay. All right. Good. Uh, let me, let me, go ahead. Use the arrows, just arrow up and down this arrow, back and down, yeah. so you will go. Like Instead of that? Yeah, let's see. We will go back and forth. What are we going to go? Okay, we'll but, but yeah. you, you think it will stop? Yes, exactly. Okay, all right, fine. Um, so what, what's, what we're showing here on a, on a particular laboratory experiment is that when, no, it's not. It, it's, it's, it, 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 it baffles even you, I think, the, the experts. But it's showing that uh, uh, they took a 43 rat uh, experiment and uh, they gave them uh, a choice between um, water, sugar water, and cocaine, and obviously you can tell that 94% of the animals chose cocaine. So you can tell that uh, sugar is probably one of the most addictive uh, substances out there. Now, let me proceed with the uh, def definition of obesity, as you uh, know by now, that the number of fat cells are stable. Those are the same number that you have when you, when you are born. And what makes you overweight and obese is when your fat cells actually become much larger in size.